Hello ladies and gentlemen, happy Wednesday and welcome back. Uh, let's get into our today in history. Today in history, May 6, 1937, the German airship Hindenburg, the largest airship ever built, explodes as it arrives in Lakehurst, New Jersey. 36 people died in the fire accident that has since become iconic, in part because of the live radio broadcast of the disaster. Um, so the Hindenburg was, they call it an airship, is very similar to a blimp. Um, the only difference is um, a blimp generally doesn't carry large amounts of passengers. This did. Um, so that's the difference there. Um, so there are several different accounts of what exactly caused the explosion to happen, um, and nobody knows for sure what actually, um, what actually is the truth, but in the morning before it was supposed to land, at some point as it was coming in for the landing, right, with a crowd of people on the floor, with media coverage there to watch it happen, um, the back, or sorry, the nose of the ship caught on fire and exploded, um, causing the ship to lose its flotation and eventually uh, crash to the ground. Right? Of the 36 people that died on board, 13 of those were passengers, 22 of them were crew members, and one of them was actually a crew member on the ground that, I guess, didn't get out of the way of the crash. Um, so it's pretty iconic. There is recording of the reports of um, the crash. So if you guys just, like, go to YouTube or you just type it in uh, to Google, like, Hindenburg, crash recording uh you can find it generally i play it in school because i think it's um it's pretty crazy to listen to uh and to just envision what's happening right because it's 1937 there isn't a ton of live footage of this really like not much of anything um so the radio recording is what you would have um the last surviving crew member was 14 at the time uh, of the crash and he died in 2014 and then the last surviving passenger was eight years old at the time uh, he was on board with his entire family he his mother and his brother escaped but his father and his sister died in the crash and he actually just passed away in november of 2019 right so pretty interesting uh event okay uh, let's get into today's work. My computer freezes on me every time. Sorry, guys. Okay, um, so yesterday you guys had uh, this information about communism versus capitalism where you looked at each of the ideas uh, there and um, you had to answer specific questions about each one of those governmental and economic systems. So hopefully no problems um and it was pretty straightforward for you um for today nothing too crazy you guys are getting a video review so basically uh it is just under 10 minutes and it talks about how we make that transition from world war ii into the cold war right what are the things that go on uh, it's just a kind of a reinforcement of the beginnings of the cold war lesson but i think um one, it's nice to always reinforce, uh, and I think this is a, a different way to get this information to you, um, especially since I can't be with you going through everything and explaining everything in the way that I would like to. I'm going to try and get that information to you as many ways as I can, and I think that all these different sources, these different resources, offer you more information, right? So you're going to click on the link, you're going to watch the 10-minute video clip, and then you're going to answer the three questions that follow. So nothing too crazy. So it's, it says, during the Potsdam Conference, how did Truman and Churchill plan for post-war Europe different from Stalin? Uh, what was one key difference between the U.S. and the Soviet Union? Right? And what key event occurred during the Potsdam Conference that upset Stalin and set the tone for the Cold War? Right? So pretty straightforward, uh, nothing too crazy. Right? And then the video is this from Cold War, to, from World War to Cold War, right? and it starts just right after World War II in 1945. All right, um, so that should be everything. Uh, if you guys have any questions, of course, reach out to me. Some of you have been reaching out that you're still having issues with GimKit, and to that I say, read the instruction slideshow, please. 
a lot of you are telling me it says I'm not in the class, it says I'm not in the class. Yeah, you need to create an account, you need to join our class, and then you can click the link to play the video game, all right? I tried to explain all of that in the videos, which tells me that the people that are having a hard time probably aren't watching these videos, so those of you who are watching it probably did it right. Right? Um, but it was great seeing those of you who stopped by in my Google Meet today, and those of you who didn't stop by, you missed a riveting ukulele performance by Skylar Egan and um, Matt Rodriguez. So, sorry to say you missed out. It was pretty awesome. Right, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I hope today is just as beautiful as it has been the past two days. And of course, as always, uh, stay safe and make good choices. Bye, guys.